In the past couple of weeks, young Nigerians have done well in creating a positive light and writing amazing history for the country on the world map. In the light of this, young beautiful Nigerian ladies with passion, eloquence, and confidence are set to compete in the maiden edition of Miss Universe Nigeria. The non-discriminatory factor of the pageant makes it stand out from previous like editions. Young ladies, irrespective of marital status, complexion, body type, height or weight will be on a step to representing Nigeria in world pageants. To be able to empower women who maybe they lost their hair through pregnancy um, or they lost their hair through cancer diseases and to be able to create products that also work for them. Nigeria is the second largest producer of film. It's about six, just over six billion that we generate here. And you're like, I didn't get a piece of that. <laughs> it's because deals are happening that we don't even know about. And your network is your net worth, they say, but there's a time and a season for everything. And, you know, being that I was talent first, I used to do a lot of commercial modeling, I used to speak. Beauty comes in different shapes, shades and sizes. There are no limitations to beauty these days. So I think, um, it's a wonderful thing that's happening. Bedou on the Move crew at the Media Parley had a chat with Nollywood actor Alex Okubo, Oluchi Madubuike, the most beautiful girl in Nigeria, and the facilitator Guy Morebros, among others. It feels amazing. It's a dream come through. I've always wanted to participate in the Miss Universe competition. Being Miss Universe Nigeria is a responsibility, it's a tax, it's a way to empower women and give back to society and that's one thing I've always wanted to do. When I was running for Miss Universe Nigeria MBGN, I heard those things too that you would have to do so and so in order to win. I didn't have to do any of that. It's nothing like that. We are empowering women in the most decent way that we can. I mean, there's a lot of challenges just existing in Nigeria, existing in the world right now. There's so much pressure, there's so much um, challenges going on, but we just always remember to find our core you know, stay surrounded and positive with, um, 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 stay positive by the people that are around you and realizing that there's more good than evil in the world. Nigeria is the best child of most most beautiful girl in Nigeria. Most beautiful girl in Nigeria has been around for 36 years. And um, the reason we're changing the name to two names right now, Miss Universe Nigeria and Miss World Nigeria, two separate pageants. So this big egg, most beautiful girl, has now been broken. We're going to have Miss Universe Nigeria and Miss World Nigeria. And the reason for Miss Universe Nigeria, the reason why we're breaking it up, because the criteria to participate in Miss Universe has changed dramatically in the last one year, uh, where it's all inclusive now. Any woman between ages 18 to 28 can participate. Any woman, any woman that's married, single, divorced, has kids, you name it. So long you're a woman, so long you're a woman, 18, with that age range, no matter your circumstance, you're short, you're wide, you're tall. So long you're a woman, you can participate. Transparent thing. It's given women a voice. It's changed their careers. It's changed their life. It's built their self-esteem. So it's an opportunity for this woman to start that grass to gray story. So people who don't believe, I understand. It's natural. People are usually like that. But the truth is, there are a number of girls who've come from a grass story and risen to a great story. And you know, you can even see them, they're in politics, they're in music, they're in the creative industry. They're everywhere. They all had that pageant background, a background that gave them confidence, a background that gave them opportunity to be able to embrace the media and build their brand.